What's up guys, Anbuf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now in today's video, we're taking a close look at five unique Android launchers that are very underrated on the Play Store. And I think you should definitely give them a try. So if any of these launchers interested you and made you switch from your current launcher, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so starting things up, we've got something called Pair Launcher and this is essentially the most basic launcher on the list here and the only reason that I have included this inside this list because it does not really have uh, anything out of the box that we haven't seen in any other launcher is the sheer smoothness of it. Now when I say this is smoother than Nova Launcher, you better believe me because I've been using Nova Launcher for more than I think four years now. However, you've got your basic settings including, you know, changing your home screen transitions, customizing the way your app drawer is whether you want to add a card background or not and of course you also got a wide variety of icon pack support so I'm using candy cons icon pack with this particular you know launcher and you can also change the theme of the entire app or the launcher to a dark theme or a light theme depending upon your preference I mean why would you go for light theme you should definitely go only for the dark theme especially if you have an AMOLED display and moving on you can swipe up to open the app drawer and uh, you know you can also change the font which is something cool that I saw for the first time in a you know third party launcher uh, you can obviously configure the grid size and the transitions as I said before and all in all if you're looking for a simple launcher that does not have any over-the-top features but you know does the job of being a particular cool minimal launcher then I think pair launcher is the one for you so definitely give it a try let me know what you guys think of it all right guys next up we've got this exactly now before you ask me why am I showing you an empty home screen well you're mistaken this is actually a launcher which is called KISS Launcher or KISS Launcher in case it's an abbreviation. But all in all, this is probably the most minimal launcher I have ever seen. And the application in its settings calls it that. It's called the minimalistic UI and there's a setting where you can turn it on. And essentially you have the ability to add a single widget on top of your home screen. And that can be any widget, you can choose it. You can obviously change you know, your icon pack and uh, the light and dark theme and stuff like that. But the main point of this launcher is the search bar that is at the bottom of the screen so you see the green circle on the left hand corner of the screen that is essentially the search bar and you can search anything whether it's a contact or an application name or a web search literally anything that you click on it or type on it will be registered as a search throughout your phone and this is something incredibly cool because you don't really need to add another applications on your home screen and it also shows your recent applications above this search bar if you have the minimalist UI turned off but since I have it turned on it's not gonna show anything it's just gonna be a widget a wallpaper and the search bar this is extreme minimalism to the point where it might seem restricting to some people uh, but if that person is you then I think this is an incredibly new cool launcher that you can get your hands on for absolutely free so definitely check it out all right guys next up we've got preview from the guys over at Microsoft and this has to be a Microsoft launcher that I'm really enjoying other than the alphabetically categorized app drawer you've got this you know settings tab or I think recent tasks tab on uh, the first home screen which essentially shows you your upcoming events and you can log into your Microsoft account to make things seamless from your computer and your phone. Now of course you can you know use icon packs I'm using Verticons in case you guys are interested in the icon pack it's got its own set of wallpapers from the Microsoft collection and you also have a search bar which is similar to Kiss Launcher you can search you know the names of your contacts as well as applications as well as settings essentially anything on your phone. However However, the only bad thing that I found out in this application was the fact that the search bar uh, on the home screen as well as on the app drawer essentially is a Bing search bar and yes you can change it from the settings but sometimes people were saying in the reviews that even after changing it it you know does not change Bing as the native search bar I think that's the only thing where this uh, you know uh, launcher has to work on otherwise it's incredibly fast it's incredibly intuitive and again it's free so definitely check it out all right guys next up we've got a launcher called 
Seri launcher. And in case you guys clicked on this video by looking at that thumbnail, this is the launcher that you're looking for. Now, again, this is a very unique launcher because it essentially gives you a plethora of different applications. In fact, all your applications on your home screen in this honeycomb texture way. And the app is incredibly fluid and, you know, filled with different sorts of animations. So it's definitely going to attract some attention in case you're looking for it. You've got three different styles that you can configure this launcher to. And you can obviously change the icon pack as well as the wallpapers. You can swipe up to go to the app drawer and you can swipe down for the search bar and you can search anything there. You can also change, you know, the clock widget. You cannot add other widgets, but they've got a digital clock and an analog clock. And you can go to the miscellaneous settings to configure a lot of things. However, keep in mind that this application is still in beta or in early access. And while it does not, you know, have a lot of bugs in my testing, you might, you know, encounter a few lags or shutter drops here and there. So keep that in mind, but I'm sure the application will get better with future updates. And it's really something new and unique that I've never seen before. And I absolutely love the different animations and the material design vibe that it has to it. It looks really cool and it works and does what it says. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we've got Niagara Launcher. And in case you guys have not heard of this, you definitely should, because this again takes the cake for being, a, you know, a very fluid as well as a simple launcher. So on the main home screen, which is literally the only home screen you have, you have, uh, you know, the alphabetically uh, arranged letters and you can click on them and get this crazy animation and swipe through your app drawer. So that essentially is your app drawer. You can also add a widget on top of the home screen. You've got your time, your date, and then you've got a list of favorite applications that you can configure inside the settings. Just like the other applications, there's a dark theme setting and an extreme pitch black dark theme setting that seems to take advantage, you know, of the AMOLED screen in case you have. And you've got, again, a wide variety of icon pack support as well. I particularly like this icon pack, I mean launcher, because of the different uh, animations that it has when you browse through the app drawer. Uh, it looks really cool. And, you know, the fact that it's very, very simple to use means that anyone can just download this application and get right into it, which is one of the things that a launcher should have in case you're not an extreme Android enthusiast. And with that, I think we're rounding up the list for today's five unique underrated Android launchers. In case you liked any of them or the video in general, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite Android launcher. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. This is Anubhav signing out. I will catch you guys next time. Until then, you guys have a great day. Peace out.